Hi, I'm Alex from Doc365. In this video, I will show you how to create a quiz using Microsoft Forms. First, sign into your Office 365 account and click on the app launcher and choose Forms. It will take you to the Microsoft Forms homepage. From the homepage, click on the arrow pointing downwards just near the new form option and choose new quiz. Let's now start creating a new quiz. First, let's give it a name. Let's name it technical quiz. You can also give a description here. As in the forms, you can also add a picture if you uh, decide. After that, let's add options and questions. To add questions, click on add new option and choose the type of question you want to ask. Let's choose the choice option first. And let's provide a question here. And then let's give them some options. After entering the options, you need to choose which one is the right one. I'm using Microsoft SharePoint here, but you can choose more options as correct answers. To add multiple answers as correct answers, you need to choose multiple answers option in the bottom first. Now you can mark more more than one answer as correct. You can also choose this as required or not required. Other options include, uh, there are multiple options here, more options. You can also add uh, the points you wish to provide for the right answer. I'm just giving a five for this. Once it is done, you can go to creating the next question. To add the second question, click on add new again and choose any of the options you prefer here. I'm again choosing the choice option. And my question is, which among the following is the best tool or platform for collaboration? I think it will be better if we have only one good right answer. Microsoft Teams will be the right answer for this one. If we go into the more more options, we will see more options such as a shuffle options, drop down, map, subtitle, uh, add branching. You can choose any of them if you think oh, they are um, useful or relevant to your questions. Uh, let's now add one more question here. Uh, let's choose a text question. And my question is, it's a math question actually. So for X. And I would like to add a subtitle for this question for a little more clarity. So go to more options and choose a subtitle. And this is the second part of my question. So uh, I will also like to add an answer here so that the quiz form can understand whether it is right or wrong and assess it and calculate the points according. So the right answer is four here. So I'm just entering four points is same, yeah, points is same. So as uh, this is a math question, you can actually uh, go to more settings and choose math. So it gives you the option to enter the more elements more effortlessly. 
So this is one option uh, you may want to use when you are trying to uh, enter more uh, advanced uh, mathematical questions. So I am just uh, entering only three questions in my uh, quiz session. So uh, that's the changes or the questions I wanted to add. And I would also like to add a theme to it. So just click on themes and uh, these are the themes available. Uh, I think this one will be the appropriate question and uh, more graphical themes are also looking good. Yeah, uh, let's uh, choose this one. Blue. Yeah, so uh, once this is done, I think uh, we need to just preview um, the case that we just created. So uh, take a look at the entire case and questions and double check once more before executing it. You can also see how it looks in the desktop view and also in the mobile view. So that's a good feature. Once your review is complete, you can actually share this with uh, any of your colleagues or the ones who you are conducting the case with. For that, just click on the share option at the top and you can first choose the um, sharing options here. So you can decide who can actually access and answer to these questions. So I am just choosing only people in my organization for attending this quiz or access to this particular quiz. You can also choose anyone or specific people. This is the link to this quiz. So you can either copy this directly or you can, you can also choose the shorten URL option and just copy this and you can just directly paste it to any of your chats and channel conversations um, as required and you can all there's also an option for qr code or there is an embed code available which you can use to embed it in any of your websites including sharepoint sites and then there is the email option so by clicking here you can just uh, make sure that it is getting uh, it is sent via mail to the desired user and uh, next comes the template option and also the more collaboration features. So uh, if you think uh, this kind of a quiz is more often conducted in your organization, you can save it as a uh, template. So next time you just don't want to create it from scratch, you just uh, de develop it from the same case. So use it as a, a template. And uh, you can also link uh, share it with any of your colleagues to uh, edit it or um, just uh, approve this quiz based on uh, their views. For that, you just uh, uh, choose this option just under share to collaborate option. So get a link to view and edit. This is the option you are to choose. Click on that and you can choose uh, who can edit here. And similarly, you can copy the link and directly send to them. So that's how uh, these options work. So for tutorial purposes, uh, let me just send this uh, case to some of my colleagues and get their responses. Once the users have entered the results, you can see the uh, responses in the second tab, which is right next to the questions, that is responses. So here I have received five responses and um, let's see the answers here. So these are the results I have gained. So the results actually look very good. The graphical representation is really nice. And uh, yeah, that's really good to see. You can also uh, click on more details if you wish to see a more elaborate result here. So I would like to see these answers in the in an Excel sheet. So just click on open in Excel option. So uh, an Excel sheet with all this data will be downloaded. 
you can review the answers by clicking on the review answers option and there is also a post scores option the respondents in this case were actually anonymous you can also um, make sure that uh, they are entering their names while attending the quiz so uh, that options are also available we also have an another video uh, called how to create a new form in microsoft forms check out that video for more detailed information about um, other options so this was the video uh, tutorial for today and uh, i hope you understood how to create a new quiz in microsoft forms have a good day Thank you.